good morning bande matram welcome all of you the topic we are going to discuss right now is on ego the topic is a very interesting topic we will see cut the knot of ego cut the knot of the ego so on ego we are going to discuss there is a knot it ties um, us with the ego so without the ego really human um, almost the human beings human at large human race can survive they have taken it with for granted that the ego is necessary um, for the progress of life so with the ego um, uh, this ego is a perversion of the ananda force jivatma so actually the problem so far uh, our life is concerned being sadhakas ego must go there is no other way if that knot is there it is actually binding you in all the way try to cut the knot of ego one question was put to the sweet mother mother um, divine mother what does the knot of ego means what is that knot knot of ego means mother tries to explain no oh, it is an image this knot is an image you see but uh, it is something that it clings to you this ego it is something that clings to you and holds you as tightly as well made the rope knot as the rope clings binds you knots you so like this it is like uh, tightly it is like uh, clings to you and holds you tightly as a well made uh, rope knot you have seen you have to put the rope knot like this and so it is always said that in order to progress um, truly if you really want to progress coming is not a, that much important because uh, you know he who chooses the infinity has been chosen by the infinity you have been chosen you have come that is a thing but the most of, most of the thing you see um, uh, people come and go it is a regular process come must go just they come that is a welcome but the welcome means they will uh, they will come there is no guarantee they will come they have to come there is no other go but actually immediately they are proceeding back they are going back so in order to make progress at first the first thing is to do is to cut the knot of ego if it is there it will bind to the egoistic circumstances egoistic bondage is very difficult to come out so you must uh, try to you know, loosen it uh, one beautiful you know, example was there Um, some uh, rich man was staying in a village very rich very ad- uh, adamant very means i mean zip code uh, living in his zip so people did not like him people who were coming in contact they felt frustrated they were very um, you know a very um, unusual atmosphere um, between the meeting so nobody prefer to come here near and the time passed after some time all at a sudden they would seen that uh, things have changed um, drastically he is uh, laughing smiling at person coming out of his home to meet the people calling people for tea they don't know actually how this uh, how come how is it possible the man immediately they have seen this is the characteristic of this man how is it possible how this change is possible anyway somebody dared and asked because this man has been changed very cordial very friendly in his dealings so somebody came and asked what is the reason behind your change this man is asking i met a sadhu this sadhu actually predicted and i told everything and this sadhu gave the suggestion uh, whatever you meet you try to whatever you do you are trying to do it for your pleasure but the thing is that you forget you go on the reverse order do something and try to get the pleasure for the pleasure don't go it is it was sadhu advice and i uh, smiled whatever came to me whoever came to me i got pleasure i just enjoyed i felt it is very interesting um, atmosphere so this uh, then i mixed with people and my characteristic changed i got pleasure i am happy like this so this is the scenario this ego actually it it it, it um, um, confines you you are this ego is pulling you to the corner out of that corner you are not able to move on that is the problem with you but the once uh, this ego is gone you can see the world vastly universal that is what and um, so that's what the mother quotes uh, that the knot must be loosened cut cut the uh, knot of ego it is very uh, expressive and make good image um, that's what mother quotes it is very expressive and makes good image 
So one is tired of, one is shut up in oneself. Once this is done, one is tired, tired of and shut up in oneself, then what happens? You are gone. Bound as a, in a prison by knots which ties you, ties up all the parts of your being together. You get, um, you know, you are tired of, you are shut up, you are um, in the pigeon, pigeon, your beings are shut together. It is this which produces cohesion. You can't come out. This is, you have been tied with that scenario, tied with that one, you can't come out. But uh, at the same time, it is the, you know, limitations, a uh, limiting. So likely you are limiting, you don't know you are limiting. You feel I am free, I am I am secure, but the thing is that you have been uh, fixed, you have been confined. You can't receive all the process you could, you would uh, uh, like to, whatever the process you want, because confined, imprisoned, you are shut up. You are, um, for that actually you feel I am free, I am uh, moving like this, but thing is that you are tired, because you are enclosed in a cell. Initially mother used to that prison. Here mother is um, um, using the term that is on a cell where I am confined, I am imprisoned, encased, made up the, of a heap of knots in the rope that, that is tying you. You have seen a rope, uh, rope and this with the rope you are really tired, you don't know. But thing is that you are tired but uh, you are unable to free yourself. But uh, outwardly. Mm, unawarely or uh, aware, with awareness, you claim I am free, but the thing is that you are not free. You are, that uh, number of knots are there, that's what uh, you, neither you can see, nor you can try to free yourself. That is the problem, that is the lacuna, lacuna with you. That is happening, not once or twice, but actually it keeps happening, but uh, you are unable to see. And uh, another question was put to the mother on the same way, on the same um, format. So, how can we cut the knot of the ego? If this is the knot of ego, we are confined, it is making us limited, we are confined, we are encaged, we are imprisoned, that's what we know. Now itself, the next question, next page, we, that, uh, how can we cut the knot? That is what the question. Oh, how to cut it? That is what. Take a sword and strike it, mother goes. Take a sword. You want to cut it? Yes. To a tree, to a branch. Whatever is there, you try, you take a sword and cut it, that is what. And when one becomes conscious of it, unless otherwise you are conscious, then what you are going to cut? Somebody is ask, uh, applying, you just uh, throw out, reject the, all these things, what is uh, bad, you know, you bad. So you can find what is bad. Whatever the organ is there, I can't take it, then, then throw it out. Whatever I have purchased and uh, decorated my house. That I can't send it out, throw it out. Then what really? I must know what to be rejected, what to be thrown out. That that's what must be that that must be known. For usually it is uh, it, it is not. We think it is quite normal. What happens to us? In fact, it is very normal. But we think it quite good also. Not only normal, we think, we think it is good also. So we can reach it. Because uh, everything, we have uh, made our um, residence, inhabitants, uh, inhabiting with these people, these things. So people are saying, uh, you know, this, these are the drunkards and uh, they are taking ganja, they are taking brown sugar and all. And the uh, thing is that they are bad people, um, um, doing the robbery, murdering people, creating harm, um, uh, in poisoning the society. Um, uh, so these are the things that they are bad. But the thing is that those people who are mixed and tied up in the same not uh, in in same way, how can they cut it? Because they are friends, they are enjoying their um, whatever may be, maybe your wine or whatever your ganja or wine cigar. They are friends, they are stealing, they are robbing, they are murdering, all these things are, they have chosen that is good for them. How can we, how can they change it? So that's what mother quotes. So, uh, to uh, begin with, one must have a great um, uh, clear sightedness. That is what you must know. That is the clear sightedness, the great clear sightedness to become aware that one is enclosed in all the all these knots. That clear sight must be there. That consciousness must be there. That awareness must be there. You must know who is held one in a bondage. This bondage. It is imprisoning me, it is encaging me, it is shutting me. So what I have, I must have a clear sightedness so that I can go. And then, 
when one is aware that um, there is something altogether um, tightly closed in here, you must know that is something is tightly closed in here, so tightly that one has tried in vain to move it. We have tried. Most people are not trying, but some people are trying, but are trying here. They feel uh, that it has gotten all in vain. No value. I can't release myself. That, that is there. And then one imagines his will um, to be very sharp, so like. So in ordinary, something like you just uh, making, um, like um, uh, you are just um, putting your hands on somebody's cheek and uh, doing the, just uh, trying to love him. Uh, you look him giving a kiss. That does not work here. That is different and this is different. Here you are tied with the knot, imprisoned, encaged, shut up. Uh, so what you have to do? You have to be um, use the sword. You have to become like a sharp sword. And with the sharp sword you have to cut the knot of the ego. That is not the requirement. Please be uh, serious then. And with all one's force, one strikes it a blow on the knot imaginary. It is not existing really. So, so Im with imagination you have to mm, blow a knot, blow the knot. So, uh, then what I have, have to do now? The, it produces a result of course. When it is got, then there is na rahe ki bounce na baje ki bounce. It is not there, so how can we feel that it is there? So, you have, uh, even though it is in imagination, you have caught it everything in all the way. So, what is there? Produce a result. Of course, you can do it and um, do this work from the psychological point of view. Imagination, psychological point of view, you have to um, uh, use it in, in that way. And the psychological point of view, uh, discovering all the um, uh, elements constituting the knot. That's what you have to see. All the elements constituting uh, the knot. That's what you have to be very, very careful. Because I want to cut it. Things what are bad in you, you have to reject it. It does not mean that your TV is uh, under your fan, your AC is there, you are going to throw it on the table, on the road. So that people will be happy and they will carry and put it in, the, in their house. That is not bad. What is given that your house that is inside? What is bad? That the anger, that kama, kodha, moho, like this, all these things. They, they are bad. You have to reject it. You have to throw them out. But not that the whatever you possess, like... Um, you know, your TV fridge, you are going to send it out. You are cutting your hand. You are actually blinding your eyes. This is not required. Then, um, uh, set of preferences. Um, the whole set of preferences, habits, and um, you know, resistance, whatever is coming, that holds you narrowly close to you. These two things have to be identified properly. Resistance, habits, preferences. These are the things. What is actually resisting, what is actually these are age old habits, um, unchangeable, not uh, ready to change and these preferences, these are to be um, narrowly closed in, closed, closed in, so they must be identified and this must be rejected. So when you grow aware of this, when you grow aware of these things, you can um, concentrate on the call the divine force. First you have to, um, uh, you must be aware, then second what happens? You must um, try to identify. The, you must. There must be an inner opening. You must be aware that I must throw it. That as, uh, aspiration must be there. Then uh, you must find it where the aware of this and the concentrate upon the divine force. That is this and the grace, divine force and the, um, uh, grace. It should come and change and strike. Divine force and grace. You must call this force and uh, this light and. Um, uh, this grace, this, they, they will come and strike the good blow on this formation. This blow, this must be heavy and that is required. These things closely, closely held like that and nothing can separate them. If once you are doing the things and with the help of your divine power and divine grace, uh, you by calling it and you are utilizing, you are giving the blow, naturally there is no other option, it, it has to go separate them. And um, at the, um, you know, at that moment, you must uh, resolve that you will be no longer um, listen to the things whatever whatever has been expelled. You will never listen them. But you will, uh, and uh, that you will listen to the divine consciousness, not to the things that actually being expelled. But thing is that I must listen to the things that has been the only that is the only the divine consciousness. 
divine consciousness and uh, will do no other work except uh, you know to work without worrying about the personal results we are karma no bhavi karas to maa padesho kadacha that's what you have to work you must know you must be aware you must be open you must aspire you must call them these are coming and once this is rejected you are going out you must never think of them at any point of time so free from all the attachment free from all the preference free from all wishes for the um, success success power satisfaction vanity all these things once it is uh, thrown out you will never 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 um, be worried to this attachments so whatever is being attached so you will never find no more be worried for about the results so um, uh, preferences you must be free from preferences free from the attachments free from the result personal results and free from all wish and uh, you know success power satisfaction um so vanity you must never think of them all this must uh, disappear and must see only the divine will in, in, in place of there in place of all these things only the divine will in you and uh, that must be in, in in that must incarnate in your will that is what divine will must incarnate in your will and the making you act that is what the requirement you have to do and you are cured if this is done then naturally you will feel that you are cured nothing can tag you nothing can bind you you will be free from all these things so initially sri aurobindo will i'll try to quote a couple of lines from sri aurobindo initially this ego was the helper now ego stands as the path so don't worry it has a need types of ego sattvic tamasic and rajasic ego is there it has its need but the thing is that once it was a helper and now is the path delusion of uh, egolessness upon covers an exaggerated ego big ego ego exists in limits and perishes if the by with the loss of limit slay the ego learn to see and feel vastly and the universal so um, the loss of ego in the divine is the spiritual ideal thank you bande matra